Voices in my head, they counsel me, they understand, they talk to me. Oh my god, you are my And Daniel, it's been such a long time. How's it going, you sick bastard, you? The last time I made a video on you was about a year ago, I think. Where, uh, you made a video entitled something about atheists having no morals and stuff. Hmm. Yes, and I kicked your ass pretty goddamn hard. And I was expecting at least, you know, some form of response, but... I found out that you blocked me. Like, really? For a man who calls himself, you know... Daniel logic and you know calls himself a man of logic and reasoning you're not very reasonable and you're not very logical either but um, let's see what other bullshit that you have to say dear friend peace be unto you an atheist might object to the idea that atheism is evil after all atheism does not prescribe a moral code yet that is exactly the problem since atheists have no morals, they can be as evil as they wish, with no contradiction to their worldview. This is probably the most commonly overused argument made by theists like Daniel. Let me just say what he's saying is total freaking bullshit. First of all, atheists do have a moral code. We've developed it through history and evolution. Take a look at chimpanzees. They have a moral code similar to that of humans. They show respect. They show anger, scorn. Um, they show regret as well. All sorts of traits that's similar to that of humans. But does that mean that there is a god? No. No, not at all. And second of all, even if it's true that atheists do have, have no moral code, um, that doesn't mean that atheism itself isn't, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? True, rational, or justified. It's actually completely possible, it's logically possible that there is no God and that we have no good reason to behave morally. So, this argument is basically saying that because atheism has no morals, therefore, there has to be, you know, um, it's not a really good reason to be an atheist. And, you know, believing in God gives you morality when that's not the case. Also, I f almost forgot to mention that there is actually people that are born without human morality. Those people are completely psychopaths, which is why when they're out killing people or stealing, they don't feel any resort, um, resent or, um any regret whatsoever they do these things because they have no human morality and those people aren't necessarily atheists some of those people are actually Christians if it's true that atheists you know can act all evil as they want then how come the majority of atheists haven't commit any crimes you know they live their lives respectfully and peacefully. I haven't decided, you know, I haven't thought once that because I don't believe in a God, I can do all these evil acts. I never thought for that for a second. So the argument that you're trying to present right now pretty much fails because of two reasons. One, um, atheists haven't committed the majority of atheists haven't committed any crime. Two, it's actually possible to be born without any human morality whatsoever. And it doesn't mean that that person isn't... Atheists know that if God exists, then they are subject to morality. As soon as they realized this, they knew there was only one thing to do. Reject the existence of God. So we reject God to reject human morality? No, we do not reject God because we lack the faith to believe in a deity. We don't know for sure that there is a God or not, but we choose not to believe until there is some form of evidence for a God. And don't give me that crap such as, look around you, God made this planet, therefore he exists, or the Bible says that God exists because those are not real arguments or evidence to prove that a God exists, let alone your God. Any intelligent person can understand that right and wrong imply that there is some sort of test 
someone must have created that test and be judging it. Morality requires that life was created by God for a purpose. Acts which contradict that purpose are wrong. Imagine saying the opposite. Life has arisen by chance, so there is a right and wrong way to live. That would be totally ridiculous. It's easy to see that people choose atheism to escape morality. Once again, you are completely wrong. We're not trying to escape morality. We are completely moral. Once again, I will have to say that it is possible to be born without any human morality. Let me put this in simple terms. I'd be a sociopath if I didn't really care about people's happiness or suffering. Because it really wouldn't affect me. It wouldn't affect me at all. But I do, in fact, care for the happiness and the suffering of other people. Therefore, I have morals. I don't want my, sif my sister, my mother, or father to be suffered, you know, receive some suffering, and I want them to be happy because it affects my life. It affects my, you know, what's going to happen in the future. If, if I didn't, then I would say, fuck my life. I'll do whatever the hell I want, and whatever comes in my way, I'll accept it. That doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't work like that, okay? John chapter 3, verses 20 to 21, completely expose atheism. It says that atheists hate the light because they want to sin in the darkness. Sin is a man-made concept, not some special law that is given by a deity in the fucking sky. They stay away from the light for fear their sins will be exposed and they will be punished. But those who do what is right come to the light gladly, so everyone can see that they are doing what God wants. Think about it. God is offering gifts to anyone willing to do good. So we have to accept this gift in order to be seen as good? Really? That's kind of stupid. I always thought that being nice and helpful towards other people make you good. Can't you get a clue or something? Atheists do in fact do good in the world. They like to do everything that any normal theist would do. Feed the poor, raise children, help people, etc. Say that Superman is real and he saved the planet from a meteor. But then Superman comes out and says that he's an atheist and flies off doing more good for the world. Are you going to say that Superman is still evil even if he do all these good things? If someone does not step forward to receive the gifts for doing good, they must be evil. Oh yes, I must be totally freaking evil. That's why I like to help this one woman try to get a freaking job despite the fact that she is literally the dumbest person I have ever met in my entire life, even dumber than Candy KO10. Yes, it's because I'm evil, not because you know, I like helping people, it's not because I'm trying to be kind, it's not because I have any morals, no, 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 it's because I'm totally evil. <laughs> An atheist is incapable of doing good, because he rejects good and evil. You can't be motivated by principles you don't have. As you can see, there is simply no such thing as an atheist who is a good person. The atheist believes that morality is purely subjective so he has set up the perfect conditions for evil acts. Think of a serial killer. What is the perfect worldview for him? If he feels an intense desire to kill, and simultaneously feels that morality is false, what is to stop him from killing? The answer is, nothing. A sociopath is not automatically a fucking atheist, okay? I mean, yes, there might be a few atheistic sociopaths, but a sociopath is a sociopath. Nothing more, nothing less. You do not need to be an atheist in order to be to reject human morality. Human morality is rejected by those who don't, don't have human morality to begin with. Atheism guarantees evil. When confronted, most atheists will claim that they do have morals. However, 
They only say this so they can fit in. In fact, they will even engage in acts that society considers good, not because they have morals, but because they want to trick others into thinking they are good. Well, son of a bitch, you figure this out. We actually do want to commit all these evil acts. We want to kill. We want to rape. We want to steal. So what is to prevent us from doing all these acts? Hmm? I mean, I could just go outside and, uh, you know, grab a gun and kill someone, right? So what is to stop me? Oh, that's right, because I have fucking morals. Seriously. Ugh. If what you say is absolutely true, then atheists would be committing crimes without any regrets, without any, without, without any hesitation whatsoever. We'd be committing all these evil acts. You know, killing, raping, stealing, anything that do any form of harm to a society. We be doing all this evil shit, but instead, what have us atheists been doing? Living nice and peacefully among people like yourself. We have been warned about these evil tricks in scripture. In Matthew chapter 6 verse 2, we are told that when we give to charity, we should do it in secret, so that we won't be like the hypocrites, who do it just to be seen by others. The goodness or evil of an action depends upon the intention behind it. Just as killing isn't wrong if it's done in self-defense, charity isn't good if the giver is doing it for selfish reasons. Um, I am not 100% sure about that because... I mean, I can understand if you're trying to donate money just to look, make yourself look like a good guy, but... Um... How is that, you know, a bad thing if you're only doing it for selfish reasons? Especially when you're giving money away towards people that may need it. I mean, regardless of what your actions are, charity is still charity. The principle guiding all the atheist actions is selfishness. When it suits the atheist to give, he will give. But when it suits him to steal, he will steal. See how the system works? It's never about right and wrong. When the atheist says he believes in morality, he's lying. Evil people lie. Just like what you're doing. You're lying. Right now. Because you know nothing about atheism. It gets worse. The atheist then has to delude himself into believing his own lies. If he was honest with himself about his rejection of morality, he would take no pleasure in people thinking he was good. You hear that, folks? I actually want to perform evil acts, and he's right, you know? I actually want to take over the world someday, you know? I want to see men raping children, you know? I want to see people killing each other. I, I love to steal stuff, you know? I masturbate towards evil. Oh my god, it feels so freaking amazing! Oh man, if only you were an atheist, you know? You and I could perform all these evil acts together, you know? And together we could have taken over the world. But for now, I have to do all these goody goody two shoes act because it disgusts me, you know? But I have to because I want to live and I want to do all these evil acts. Yes, it's true. I love evil, you know? If only there was a marker around here, I would write on my forehead evil. That maybe there's one around here right now. You see what I did with my forehead right here? I've written the word evil because I need to spell it out that I am fucking evil. <laughs> now, what evil act shall I perform today? Hmm. Oh, I know. I'll grab my gun, go downstairs, and shoot my annoying ass neighbor in the face. Because why not? I mean, clearly, I'm an atheist and I have no morality! <laughs> oh. Man, I must love being evil! If only I've done this a long time ago. Hmm. Yeah, if only every atheist was just like me, being totally freaking evil. 
This is precisely why they become so angry when they hear about God. It reminds them of their dark secret, that they rejected God's existence to escape morality. You, you dare, dare speak, speak about, about God, God in, in my, my presence? presence? You, you must, must die! die. <laughs> <laughs> okay, with all seriousness though, um, really? I, 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 well, I guess some atheists do get angry, but it's justified considering that God flooded the entire fucking planet, killing almost everyone. That includes the babies, the children, who knows nothing about good and evil, that is just barely learning about the world. Apparently all of them were got drowned to death because they were all wicked and evil. But not Noah and his family, no, no, no. No one's family gets saved. But the rest of the world can be can drown. And the funny thing is that God could have tricked people into believing in him as well. Why such you why use such extreme complicated methods to do whatever the hell that you want them to do? Okay? You're fucking God. But instead he chose to be an asshole and drown everyone. Yeah. That's an all loving father for you and that their goodness is a big lie you live in the midst of deception so in other words we're Decepticons we're the human version of Decepticons robots in disguise can't do the sound effects I wish I could it'd be really awesome in their deceit they refuse to acknowledge me declares the Lord. Jeremiah, chapter 9, verse 6. We are commanded in Ephesians, chapter 5, verse 11, that we should have nothing to do with the worthless deeds of darkness, and that we should instead expose them. Therefore, I ask you to please share this video so we can stop the spread of darkness in our communities. Oh, don't worry, Daniel. This video will be shared, and believe me, it will be shared amongst the atheist community. We found you, Daniel, and now that we found you, I can't help and wonder how long will it take for you to crumble and, you know, fall into the path of darkness, this wonderful path of darkness and evil. Join us, Daniel, and I guarantee you, you enjoy your world of reality. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out. Thank you for watching, and may God bless you. Heaven and earth will fade, but his word will still be made. Something new today. You know, I didn't really write this on my forehead to embrace the evil acts. I'm not gonna go outside and kill people. I don't like killing. I don't like raping. I don't like stealing. But what I like to do is make YouTube videos, okay? Daniel, you need lots of help. You need to go on the internet, you know. Go challenge us in debate. You know, actually, I got a challenge for good old Daniel. If you could make a video response towards me, or even, you know what, even better. I challenge Daniel you know, the reverend brother, whatever his name is now, into the debate. I challenge you to debate me one-on-one -on, -one on Google Hangouts. Alright? If you can do that, I'll do the Ice Bucket Challenge. If you respond to me, I'll do the Ice Bucket Challenge. For you. But only if you respond. At least show me that you have the balls to do so. I know that some of you guys want to see me, you know, do the ice bucket challenge, and that's fine. But I can't do it 
if good old Danny doesn't accept my challenge. Now, if you excuse me, I need to wash this thing off my forehead because I feel like it might end up being permanent. And I don't want to go outside, you know, people looking at my forehead and saying, oh my god, that guy has a, it says, has the word evil on his forehead. Does he like doing evil acts? Like, no, I just did it because I was making a YouTube video on a guy named Daniel. In fact, why am I wasting my time? I should be, I should go to the bathroom now! If you enjoy watching this video, click on the like button, subscribe to this channel for more videos, and of course, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and ugh, Google+. We all know Google+, fucking sucks.